Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Defined. My name is Saurav, and today in this video, we will talk about some recent events that happened around the 3D printing world. So let's start. Printing innovators Logan Master have announced the launch of an exciting new device that has successfully combined the high quality of SMD 3D printing with the versatility of laser engraving and cutting all in one. The innovative new printer makes it easy for anyone to unleash their creativity. Until now, the ability to 3D print, laser engrave, and laser cut has required multiple costly machines. The 3D printing industry has long sought the combination of devices that could accomplish all three tasks with good results. Previous good attempts were less than satisfactory and only able to support MDM 3D printing with low precision. A new method developed by researchers in Japan has solved the tricky problem of successfully 3D printing multicolor and multimaterial microstructures in a single step method. The technique invented by a team from Yokohama National University in Japan is based on a new way to hold various materials in a droplet state. So there is a less waste when they are exchanged in a closed space such as printer microchannel. Research team leader Shoji Marwa from the university told Design News, In our study, by installing a pallet with multiple resins placed on a translational motor stage, and additionally installing two cleaning tank and one air blow nozzle, all processes including 3D printing, resin replacement, bubble removal and cleaning processes are sequentially carried out using a lab-made software. As a result, multicolor 3D microstructures could be created automatically. The BMW Motor and World's Move Bike team has been producing new prototype components for the BMW S1000RR right at the circuit. BMW Motor and Motorsport is using 3D printing to quickly make a new prototype component which can be then tested on BMW S1000RR before they go into final production. Normally, the process is that engineers develop a new component which are simulated on computers manufactured in metal or carbon and then tested on the racetrack. However, with 3D printing, it has become possible to develop and test new components during the operation. BMW Motor and Motor Soap had portable 3D printer that travels to each circuit and then assembled in the BMW Motor and World SDK team pit area on race weekends. Scientists from the University of Barcelona and Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya have designed and 3D printed and enhanced more reliable UHF RFID radio frequency identification tag. The team's inventory tracking device features a bionicle antenna design with embedded wire strips to improve its overall bandwidth and a dielectric coating to prevent its signal from being interfered with. Several testing showed that the tag could be integrated seamlessly into existing networks, potentially enabling its use as a stock management tool within new areas such as the medical construction or automotive sectors. The latest figures from market intelligence company Context shows sign of recovery for parts of 3D printing market following a period of failing hardware sales. Published yesterday, the report details a global surge of 68% in personal desktop printer shipments and 24% second quarter sequential rebound in domestic unit shipments of industrial printers priced at $100 plus in China. Context says the trend gives hope to an otherwise depressed 3D printer market. We saw hardware revenues fall by minus 28% compared to the previous year. Researchers from the Department of Chemistry at the University of Texas and Austin began to expand their work in applications such as tissue engineering and soft robotics. They realized a need to explore photochemistry further to develop novel panchromatic photopolymer resin for better speed and higher resolution in printing. The current speed they were working with was not realistic for the types of composites, complex structures or hydrogels that they were seeking to create. Due to complicated electron transfer, slow curing times and high irradiation intensity, presented method and opportunities offered by visible light photo curing for 3D printing. Illustration shows the general mechanism for digital light processing with exchangeable light emitting diodes for UV and visible light photo curing. 
A green check mark indicates an attractive feature, while red X represents a current challenge. So guys, this was all that is happening around the 3D printing world. Stay tuned for more updates for 3D printing. Also, if you want to see more 3D printed objects, click this i button. And if you want an object or design to be 3D printed, let me be linked down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.